Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We're here in Charlotte. We came to check out their farmer's market, but it was closed. So we simply checked out Trader Joe's farmer's market. And since we're hungry, we're gonna go have some Italian food. I don't know why I want Italian food, but today is the Italian food day. But since the restaurant is still closed and our reservation is at 5.30 and now it's 4.30, there is a at-home store. They have all kinds of different pots and home decor, everything. I only need one large pot for my Monstera Deliciosa plant because it's missing its, <laughs> its pot. I replaced it. Another plant went into that pot. So I need a pot. And since we're very cl uh, close to this store, we'll just go check it out, buy that whatever vase or pot. Maybe I'm not saying the word right, pot, flower pot, yeah. And then go check out that, uh, how was it called, Angelino? Il or Angelinas, Angelinos. It's an Italian restaurant, good review, 4.7 or 8. It's a good restaurant, they say. So we'll check it out and you'll see. Now, very quick stop, very quick stop. It's, it's a reminder to myself to stop there for just to get one item and that's it. It's a warehouse, it's huge. It's the crazy Halloween season. Everywhere you go, scary stuff happens. All we need is a flower pot having it. Don't buy anything else. Oh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Why are they rushing this much? We still have a lot of time. Life already goes by so quickly. It's only September. Let it pass, then there is October, November, and then start. But no, they need to remind you life is moving too fast. I like this kind and I want something not heavy, just like this. But I don't want to pay $70. Okay, <laughs> then this is too big, to be honest. We need something a, a lot smaller than this, something this size. But this is ugly. I think we found the right place. Oh, this is a nice one, but it, it won't be good enough. But, oh, it's plastic. Is this a trash can? Oh, these green ones are so nice. I need it uh, for green room, but this is too heavy. We need lightweight so we can move it here and there. Every, every time we want to move and basically I move everything very often okay is this broken no. I should find it very quickly there is it's too many way too many the variety is huge and it makes you uh, it gives you hard time to decide which one you want you basically want most of them. All I know, I don't need anything too heavy. And I don't need anything with a hole. Because I don't need it. Oh. This looks okay. And it's light color. I can put it anywhere. And it's, how much was it? <laughs> uh, 
it's unknown. Look at this. We can only see the nine. Okay, we'll, we'll find out. I think Aram, I'm gonna check this one aisle and that's it. Look at it. You haven't seen anything like this. Who buys this stuff? Who needs this stuff? $209. A scary, useless cat. I rather get white color because it may match even better with everything we have. This is 39, oh, 33 dollars. I'm sorry. Is this bigger than this? No, it's even size. But this is more lighter in weight. Okay, I like that. one more over there I, I don't know I like it but then I'm not in love with it you want to be in love with the flower pot or else you're gonna change it very quickly what is this one how is this one you like it he likes it oh but this one has a hole I'll cover it maybe because I don't need a one, uh, one with hole. I need it to retain the water because the plant is already in a plastic pot which has a hole. Mm. But I like this one too. Better than that one. Okay. This one is broken. Look at it. It has three cracks look at this excuse me you go back <laughs> see it's not easy to choose and buy a proper pot for your simple monstera or any plant can anyone tell me why is this black thing is $60 looks like a trash can I don't know it's made in Vietnam it's outdoor it doesn't I don't think it costs $60 not even $6 okay okay harder and harder my tall husband <laughs> got me this it's not the same, no. It's not bad though. Huh? You like it? If honestly he doesn't really care. Mm, okay, let's go see. I see something over there. It's interesting how we have the exact same store in our area in South Carolina. Now we're in North Carolina. And that particular store has like tons of different kind of pots. This one doesn't have that much variety, but this one has a lot of different uh, patio furniture, which we don't need because it's over. The season is over. I asked the worker, she said, this is it, but you can try the section that has all kinds of vases which I don't think it's a good idea. Interesting. I thought all at-home stores carry only pots <laughs> and the rest, according to our store. And this is such a boring store now, especially when you don't need anything else. <laughs> I thought maybe something with straw would look, I don't know, appealing. But I can't see anything. I can't find anything. For example, something similar to this. It's, it's huge, of course. Something like this, but without handles. Even with handles, but I don't know if it's a good idea. How much are you? Priceless. 
And this is too big, huh? Okay, I think today is not our day. I'm not gonna get this. I'm not happy with it. Completely wrong aisle. Maybe it wasn't the day. We'll check out the one in our our state, which is two hours away. Overall, this was the most useless trip to to store. Doesn't matter what kind of store. We have never ever left a store without buying at least a tiny, teeny mini something. But there is nothing in this store for these two people. Which is even better because there is no cash register person. No one. There is no one in this store. Look at it. Imagine we purchased something. So, and we, here we are waiting. And <laughs> there is no one. Okay. So, it's good we didn't buy anything. We don't have time to waste. Here we are. They have lots of public parkings. 17 to 30 dollars per day. I don't know which one we stopped, but it's completely empty. But full of trash. I I guess today is the trash day. I think I mixed up this restaurant with another Italian restaurant because the one I saw earlier it was in the other South Park area it looked very nice I thought that's the one but this is a it's like downtown oh Well, we're in the area. We just need to find it. Oh. oh, they have sushi place here. But um, I personally <laughs> can't handle sushi for another month or so. But it looks nice, the place. We are. We made the reservation. We're late a few minutes, like eight minutes. No one even remembered about us. No texts. Oh. Hello. So this place has more drinks, cocktails, and variety of drinks than a food menu. I mean, on the food menu, you'll see five main dishes, one soup. Four salads, four sides, uh, five pasta dishes, five pizzas, and you'll see hundreds of <laughs> drinks. Even the waitress were la was laughing. I'm like, you have more drinks than uh, food. She's like, oh, you're right. Okay, I want to try a couple of different sides, small dishes, small plates. Do you want any pizza? He has a rule. He's like, I'm not trying pizza nowhere else. After our normal homemade pizza, it's like anything you try, it's a waste of time. 
they don't even have good pasta selection. I was craving pasta, that's why I thought let's go to Italian restaurant, order something creamy, delicious. They have chicken sugo, they have fra diavolo and bolognese, cacio e pepe and, and squash, squash angioliotti. No, uh, anolotti. Excuse me, it's in Italian. I don't speak Italian. Okay, let's try some salads, sides. Oh, they have, for the table, they have North Carolina shrimps. Would you like shrimps, Saram? Meatballs. I'm sure you'd love meatballs. They have whipped ricotta, which sounds delicious. Lavender, honey, lemon oil, pistachio, house bread. Mm, calmari house charcuterie we'll skip the charcuterie i think okay let's see all right so we ordered a couple of things and from pastas she recommended what did we get the last one, the last one squash oh the one i can't pronounce squash agnolotti Agnolotti, Dumoyo. Oh, I think. <laughs> it's stuffed pasta, roasted squash, sage, pistachio, brown butter, pecorino. It sounds delicious. We can share because I think we ordered enough sides and appetizers and two salads. We'll see. Why do we get three spoons? It's very mysterious. Looks I got good. the meatballs. Mm, thank you. Nice little yes. Working hard. <laughs> All right, we got the burrata. It looks good, huh? And the meatballs with a few tired, <laughs> tired basil leaves. This was fast because it's ready, of course. Okay, okay thank you. Oh, that's the whipped ricotta. Looks good, thank you. All right. I'm going to start with salad. I love Caesar salad and sometimes it's really good, but most of the time it's okay. Oh, instead of croutons, they have breadcrumbs. Hmm. Hmm. It's bad. Oh my God. It's not a good sauce. And the breadcrumbs feel like pieces of glass or something. They're not crunchy, they're pointy kind of. Oh my God. I love Caesar salad, but this is not the good salad. I'm being honest. Even the breadcrumbs have the taste of, you know, when something has oil in it and it gets old you know that specific taste of the oil i don't know if you know what i'm talking about but breadcrumbs taste like old oil mm -hmm. mm. for the very first time honestly i told my opinion i don't like it and she's like we can remove it i'm like it's not about removing but something is not right in this salad and i love caesar salad i can eat any kind of salad caesar or any but this was something i, I think their mayo was bad mm. with ricotta this is so delicious 
Mm. It's like a cream. It is a cream. It's so delicious. The lemon oil complements the ricotta. Mm. Try it, it's so good. I'm gonna try the meatball. Oh, it's here. Thank you. There's the pasta. Squash onion latte. Roasted mushrooms. It's so cute. The, the little pens. Cast iron, right? Thank you so much. You are very welcome. May I grab you anything else at the moment? We're good for now. Thank you. The puzzle is solved. We did need three spoons. Okay, let's see. Let's try this. It, it cuts very smooth. Mm. Mm. It's delicious, very flavorful. Mm. It's really good. Very well salted. You'll love it. He's a salt maniac. <laughs> and we'll try the oh he's trying already. <laughs> How is it? It's good, huh? Okay, enjoy. Bon appetit. I wanna try the roasted mushrooms. It's locally picked. It has something tangy, I believe something lemony. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what kind of mushroom is it? I can't tell it by the taste. Um, yeah, it, one of them looks like not porcini. What was it? Crimini mushrooms. That's good. I'm, I'm a huge fan of potatoes. Mashed, fried, cooked, whatever. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, if um, they didn't pour lemon juice or... I don't know, it's tangy and it doesn't complement the mushrooms. I've never added anything tangy or sour to mushrooms thinking it's not gonna pair well and I guess I was right I don't know you like mushrooms with lemons it doesn't go very well you, you didn't try it did you it's way too tangy and I love lemon I love sour it's my favorite but with mushrooms it's not pairing whatsoever Mm. And it's too much. Okay. I want to try some of this pasta. It's stuffed squash pasta. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Mm. It's not bad. It has the sweet and creamy taste from squash and uh, ricotta and you can taste the sage it's delicious and um, you love it just remove the herbs and you like it let's see how he likes it because he's a very picky eater he doesn't eat this kind of fancy creamy colorful yeah you love it it's interesting be honest people are waiting for your opinion <laughs> it's not bad it's good. it's good okay good then enjoy we'll be sharing this burrata i mean he's gonna get the burrata i'm gonna get the vegetables it's celery tomatoes cucumber uh, piccolo faro e and onions, pickled onions. 
Okay. It looks so fresh, Aram. I ate enough ricotta, so burrata won't won't fit. It's too creamy for me. Aram, try with tomatoes. It's really good. Delicious. so full I finished the celery and cucumbers from this spread and I think my husband wants to skip the dessert for the very first no not the very first time you skipped it yesterday for the very second time he's skipping the dessert and it happens again we're in North, Car North Carolina Charlotte and again I'm on my sugar-free diet I'm not enjoying it, but sometimes I have to take take care of myself. So cutting the sugar really helps. I do get my energy back. I do get my good sleep back. So I decided at least for a month, of course I'll do exceptions if let's say something, an occasion. But other than that, I can skip dessert all the time. I think we're done, huh? We're full. They gave us two chocolates to end the evening in a sweet manner. How is it? It's good? You can have mine too, Aram. <laughs> Very good. Oh, it's very, very good. Enjoy. <laughs> you do look like you're enjoying it very much. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Enough enjoyment. So, overall experience. Yeah, it was okay. How would you rate 1 to 10 the food? Forget the chocolate for now. <laughs> Okay, okay. Five. Five? Wow, he's a strict food critic. Uh, I was thinking I should become a food critic. I'll make a good one. All restaurant owners will not like me. <laughs> well, because you have to say your. This was the very, very first time I honestly said my opinion because right after I tried it and I had the, those crumbs like glasses, pieces of glasses and the taste of something, I don't know, not good in my, on my palate and she approached very excited. How is everything tasting? How did she ask everything tasting delicious? I'm like, Mm -mm, not very <laughs> and she's like oh what's wrong and for the very first time I honestly because I never think it's the waitress's fault or responsibility <sighs> the food is not good let's say so I they work hard I know it's a very very hard work and my complaints never go to waitresses or waiters Anyways, for the very first time, I couldn't help it. I said, it's, it's not good. You need to check the salad, what's in there. But the service was good. Other food was okay. Okay. So, I would rate... I would rate five. I was gonna rate five. But yeah. I should become food critics, Aram. Yeah. All right, I think we're going to finish this restaurant review slash unsuccessful shopping vlog. And hopefully you guys enjoyed at least something. So leave a comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. You're a free person. Uh, we appreciate you very much. That's it.